Okay. Whoops. Accidentally muted my Elgato for like half a second. Hmm. Eh, thankfully, it was a part where, you know, audio is an imperative. Welcome, one and all, to this Navigator EX here, as you can plainly see. And this is a little bit more Armored Core 3, so... Yeah. That. One moment, please. I seem to be petering out a little bit. Uh, the coffee's not quite kicked in yet. So, a little bit of water because I want to load up too much on coffee at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That is counterproductive to the whole sleep thing. Mm. Drink calf! Responsibly. Um. <sighs> so... I doubt this will be the last Armored Core 3 stream, because even though I'm coming up in the last mission, I kind of want to play around with the arena a bit, and I want to get that really bitchin' rifle. The Kurosawa I uh, didn't get earlier in the game. I really, really want that before I leave this game behind. Um, so if it's possible, I'll probably be getting that. Um, I don't think I've completed the arena on any of these games. I think one of them on PS1. I really need to go back and rewatch some of my old stuff at some point, but that takes time away from me looking up fun gaming tidbits and dicking around watching Oni DBZ videos. Turns out I th think I have seen some of his work before. Very distinct uh, art style. Uh, Newgrounds artist. Uh, you can find him on YouTube at OniNG, um, if you're not familiar with him. Anyone who happens to watch this. So, yeah. But get ready for some really juvenile high school style humor. The good fun stuff. So, if that's not your thing, oh well. But other than that, I love the art. I love the dumb jokes. Really expressive faces. Oh. So, where was I? Which machine have I got? Because I think I know who I'm going to be using to challenge the controller. <sighs> so, it's all come down to this. So we've got the same three that I started with. Breaker, Ox King, and Black Star. Oh, it took me a second. I have underused this machine. Like, greatly. So, before I get onto the final mission, I want to do something I feel like I should have done last week. I don't recall if I did. How many more dudes have I got? Five more in the arena. Holy shit. Not counting ones who unlock beforehand. Let's uh, flip down to the bottom, see if anyone's... Holy crap! I completely glanced over all of this. There's a lot of dudes. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. So there's like 9 more dudes I can challenge down at the bottom of the ranks. So that's really rad. Something to kill a bit of time with. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead with my usual stream warm up. I want to challenge some of these uh, new guys. Starting with Brass and his AC cool head. Love that color scheme. Gunmetal gray, blue highlights. An exceptional pilot, he's well versed in ground combat tactics, and it shows. He puts his AC's mobility to good use, always presenting a difficult target, and is more than happy to trade fire with his opponent, his opponents while on the ground. And welcome back, King Thunder. Howdy. Just got in at the beginning. Whew. Just got in at me waking up. <laughs> uh, so, as I said, though, this almost certainly won't be the last Armored Core 3 stream, because there's so much stuff in here, even after beating the game. It seems like there's even more than uh, previous AC games. Hmm. So, beginning with my usual warm-up. I'm going to close my eyes and turn my head away from this before I just pick a map. Because I haven't done too many random rounds. Okay, Reservoir it is! Ooh. It's been a eventful gaming week. Thankfully, a fairly quiet one at work, so... <clears throat> Not quite so much grinding on front mission, but then again, that's... been a bit de-emphasized by everyone getting to, uh... 
30 AP, though I do need to still get some abilities with a few people. So, I've been able to focus a little bit... Whoa, where'd he go? Focus a little bit more on uh, the good gaming news. Oh, I'll catch that comment in just a second. Alright, because... Whoa! And as expected, this guy is... Pretty low tier. Some of the uh, guys at the top of the E ranks are kind of... Kind of easy kills. Okay, let's see. Videos on FF15 in a nutshell. It's funny because I was watching one on FF8 in a nutshell, so that was... That was different. Let's see. Oh my god, yeah. I've, I've heard some rough things about that game's DLC. I mean... I've heard so many conflicting things about it, though. It's like, is it a complete game or is it not? Which, in my opinion, if it has more than a tiny little bit of DLC, the answer is automatically no. But for some reason, if the main story is good enough, I still would kind of like to get it. But I don't want to encourage bad behavior from a company. That just seems bad, I guess. Oh, let's see. Yeah. So, just as a odd side note, so I can keep a little bit better track of the chat stuff, I got my cell phone sitting in front of me. So I'm hoping I can catch stuff a little quicker. Oh, FF7 remake trolling. Oh, man. I just have the worst feeling that the Golden Saucer will accept real-world money somehow. And that makes me... All of the sad. Um. Yeah. Okay, so we got Bilbo and the Green Witch Armored Core, another hover unit. A raven with a green thumb as well as a real love for nature. She donates most of her winnings to the Underground Botany Pro Project in support of her favorite cause. Her AC design equips energy weapons to the exclusion of all others. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and whip this out. Mm, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the random thing. So, yeah. What am I thinking about with, um... Final Fantasy? Oh, man. Oh, that was a nice random pick. Let's see. 45-minute DLC where they showed Tifa and Barrett. Oh, man. I wouldn't be surprised if they did develop a whole side mission as, like, an extra chapter or something. And it'd be stuff that was in the previous game. That that would that would be shit. I mean, that's that's just the thing I expect from companies nowadays. Okay. How you doing? All right. Yeah. Shredding green thumb here too. It's like I know some of these uh first ones you unlock on the lower end are really weak, but. Yeah, this one's starting to pick up. She's just not using her mobility quite to her advantage. Ah! Where'd you go? Really does seem an unfortunate thing for her, too, that I pick uh, the tropical forest at random. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I just really worry when I see Square doing stuff with games now. I mean, and it makes me sad, because it used to be, like, the RPG company. And now, who is that? It's like Xseed, I think, does a lot of the better RPGs. Or localizes them, at least. Hmm. I don't know a lot about Xseed, though. I really can't say too much about them. But they've had some stuff that looked really fun. Um, don't know how much of they, they, they brought to consoles, though. There was a half-minute hero, which I really need to play through at some time. Kind of like half RPG, half puzzle, so. One more opponent in the arena, and then I'll switch to Breaker and take on the controller. Ah, Paranoia. FF15 in a nutshell video? Let's see. Guy called Trueblade Seeker. Oh my god, yeah. 
blocking off the title with their mad flailing, I'm sure. Be like those ads they have on TV where it's like the entire bottom quarter of the screen is interrupted with like some cheerleaders running around and then all of a sudden behind them the logo for the thing they're advertising pops up. But it's in the middle of a show that you're actually interested in watching. It's a really dick move, companies. Alright, so Paranoia here and his interestingly named AC Ice Walls. Odd color scheme for that, unless we're going like for yellow snow, but okay. A former street actor, he's taken the show on the road and now performs only for his arena fans. Winning isn't important to him, it's a spectacle of it. He views Paradox, who has a similar background, as a rival. Oh, man. Everything about the FF7 remake, it's like... It's interesting that they picked Unreal Engine for it. I think there's real possibility for them to make it, looking, make it look really good, but everything else around it sounds painful, and even the use of Unreal Engine 3, if they don't do it right, it's going to look like ass. I mean, I think Soul Calibur 6 is using Unreal. I know Tekken 7 is. They, they did that. And Tekken 7 looks great for what it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's someone with a little bit more maneuverability. So, Unreal Engine, it's really hit or miss. It used to be only good for, like, small environments, and, well, that kind of shaped how Borderlands went, because you only had, like, relatively average size maps, and then they'd be interconnected by loading transitions, but now you can do larger scale stuff in it, so I need to find out what engine... Oh god, they are... Four. Four. Why am I saying three? Why am I thinking three? <laughs> Shit! Whole engine behind. Wow. Um, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, if they were using three for the FF7 remake, that would just make me like, weep openly. But four. Yeah. So it can be used, um... Ooh, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, it can be used to great effect, but... steadily losing faith in Square Enix to do that. They'll have, um, I have no doubt, great-looking character models for the main cast. But, um... As it stands, the rest of the game, as far as I'm concerned, is in question. And I have a feeling they're going to be leaning very heavily toward Advent Children-style character designs. What what I've seen of the character designs, I'd, I don't know. I think some of that was uh, from from before the... the oh, God, was it? Ah, my notes. Ah. Hmm. Well... That was the warm-up, and I don't like to do too much of one thing at once. A child that looks like Sora who you can interact with. Damn it, Square! Cut that shit out! We get it. You've been dangling the Kingdom Hearts 3 carrot over the user base for how many years now? It's like the Duke Nukem Forever of Kingdom Hearts games. And now they have to shoehorn that into Final Fantasy. It's like, no, cut that shit out. Ugh. I'm, I mean, it's one thing for, like, an occasional poke or something, but, yeah, that speaks a little bit too heavily to cross-pollination. They, they, <laughs> they need to cut that shit out. Because it's not funny. It's not funny, Square. Oh, no more, yeah. Yeah, that, that, I would... I should have figured it would likely be him. You know. The overly proud parent who wants to shove his baby right into your face. Well, damn it, no more. I don't eat babies, so keep him away from me. Weird bastard with all your belts on everything. Belts on top of belts and belts for belts. Ugh. I'm amazed he hasn't had his name changed to Belt 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 Belt. Although it worked for Lulu, so, you know, it's good. <laughs> uh. Uh, so let's get this shindig started. 150k for uh, advance. They really want you to prepare. I don't know why I never notice the advance uh, 
the money advanced before the briefings. Analysis of the data acquired from Mirage is complete. It revealed the location of the controller's core. We're sending you in to destroy it. Have we made the right decision? Yes. No. We can't say why the controller malfunctioned in the first place. All we can do now is hope. Good luck to you, Raven. Okay, all they can do now is hope. They could also send in more guys. I think that would help them greatly. Okay. Okie dokie, so they ha they separate the Kingdom Hearts versions from the, uh... Which makes sense, that would... That'd be really weird to just completely, actually mix canon. I mean... Mm. To think... It would be really painful to think of them actually as in the same universe in the Final Fantasy games, rather than just... in KH. Come on. Little nuggets. Oh, these little murder balls. Alright, and I gotta get over my habit of uh, standing in the same place for them. Okay. Because I know in Kingdom Hearts, like, everything is in the same universe. It's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Star Wars, Iron Man, everything. But, um... Yeah, in Final Fantasy Universe, not quite the same. Although it's weird with all the Dissidia nonsense. Hmm. There's a game I... Oh, oh, boy. Is there an elevator? There, there is not. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, boy. The, uh... The part every Armored Core game needs more of, you know? Because platforming, you know? Ah... <laughs> uh... You know, forget um, Mario and, and Luigi. This is this is the real shit. Um, Sonic, you can like Adam X the Extreme showing up in. Why am I drawing a blank on who that is? I'm sitting here thinking of Adam Warlock. Um, so my mind is in a completely different place. Okay, come on. I do not need to fall down all that way. Oh. There are so many franchises, though, for Kingdom Hearts to fall in on. It's like, sometimes I just wish they'd cut some of them a break, because it's like, on the other, on the one hand, Kingdom Hearts can be this great playground for a lot of fan-favorite favorite franchises, but on the other hand, how many Sith Lords and knockoff Sith Lords do we really need? So, I'm kind of mixed on that. I'm sure Kylo Ren's in there somewhere, because they're going to be wanting to push the new Star Wars trilogy, which I've still only seen uh, Episode 7. Um, so I need to change that at some point in the near future. EXTREME! <laughs> oh, God. Please tell me he has a skateboard, because I'm going to have to look him up after the stream now. Okay. Oh, whoa, this is an orbit core. Wow, I've missed that somewhere. Um, I probably should have saved before starting this mission. Damn it! Hmm. Oh god, backwards cap. Oh. I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, cause I, I wear baseball caps everywhere. Um, my, um, my I, I wear a baseball cap out. out of the, I'm staring for it. It's a thing that I I kind of did in high school. I actually use it for a utilitarian purposes. It's nice to have something to keep the rain out of my eyes when it's raining, sun out of my eyes. Sure I just always wear a baseball cap. And for the longest time, I wore it backwards, so... you I wouldn't be caught dead doing that now. It just seems really dumb. Okay. Where is my enemy? They're below decks, aren't they? 
be looking at more murder balls? Okay. Oh, these ones. Ah, good. Huh? Oh. Oh, I see. Alright. I vaguely remember this elevator ride. I didn't remember it being quite so, you know, murder ball filled, but, you know. It had to happen. Okay, come on. Just just die. Just do the right thing, guys. Oh, ground floor. Hey. Mm. And in a... Oh. Okay, this is intimidating. Okay, I did not remember this fight. Okay. Should have gotten in a little closer before orbits, but hey. Um, so we've got two ACs, and they are both um, a little too close for comfort. Holy crap, is that an orbit maker? Has someone got an orbit maker? Because I'm getting shot for, at with from directions that don't have enemies. Okay. He's catching air. Okay. Oh, this is the same guy, so I can kind of focus him down. It is not the same guy. Okay. Oh, shit. That, that was hard. Okay. Doesn't matter, though. As long as I can mulch these fools one at a time, I'm good. Whew. Yeah, they had to have, though, the uh, reminder of this game's sordid origins with that platformer room. But thankfully, it's far shorter and far more forgiving than its predecessor. Come on. I am almost... I am almost dead. And I do not want to... Uh, he does have an orbit maker. Cut it out, guy. Okay. Yeah, the below 45% thing. I would really like to put them way around there, too, but I have a hard time noticing that, sadly. Um, part of it is because of the way I have a bit of audio delay because I'm listening to my video output on my headphones. So I don't always catch the visual indicator that's pretty much right in my face. Oh, boy. It's the controller's core. Okay, when you say impenetrable... Okay, these little dudes, how many of these... Will they respawn? Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Okay, so we've got the controller here, looking at this big shaft. And we... hit its weak point for massive damage, as I recall. JD. Um... So long as we don't find, like, the Crest CEO's daughter in, like, in a, in a murder jar up here. Because, I mean, I mentioned Borderlands before. I got some good memories of playing through Borderlands 2, but, yeah, that was, um... Hmm. Come on. Almost overshot. What do we got? Um... Yeah, see the big target indicator. Um. Hmm. Okay. Gotta figure this out, how exactly I'm gonna... Oh, crap! I missed it. Okay. Yeah, I think I might wind up having to come back with Ox King, just because of how quickly my health is disappearing. Okay, come on. So where's that big old target indicator? Okay, so I'm about to run out of bullets. Arrgh. Huh? 
Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to switch to missiles for the little dudes, because I am so low on bullets. Okay. Um... Hmm. Because <clears throat> I remembered he had to destroy, like, a shield generator, Star Wars style, but... Mm. Not entirely sure if I'll be able to do it with my bullets. Okay, come on, quit squirming, you little pricks. I'm about to run out of HP. S Desperation mode! Okay, how are we doing? It's an energy reactor. Destroy it. You should neutralize okay. the controller. Ooh, boy, this is going to be close. Oh. Okie dokie. What was that? Something about the surface? Yeah, the Microsoft Surface destroying this computer has unleashed um, Surface tablets on the denizens, denizens of uh, Laird, and we're not going to have to... Oh my god. Um, so I guess I should have believed a little bit more in the power of shooting itty bitty bullets at a point. Hmm. Thought I had to go up to the shielded part of the uh, machine after that, so I was actually really worried. Holy crap! Oh man, launching a nuke—that would be <laughs> that would be horrible. It's like, yeah, if I can't keep humanity down here, I'll make sure that going up there isn't worth anything. All this pastoral scenery, all this motion, all this uh, bloom and everything, that would be... That'd be horrible. Um... <laughs> wow. Um... So now humanity is free to explore around and uh, see what the fruits of their, their ancestors' mistakes have borne, so hooray. Oh my god, though. So that was the main story of Armored Core 3 right there. I did not remember the um, last part as well as I thought. I did not remember the dual AC battle, and I only vaguely remember the uh, interior column here, so... Hmm... I really missed the playing through this game. This has been this has been a fun romp. <laughs> End of one armor core, prelude to the another. Ah, hey, Buffy's in this game. Hmm. Now there's a franchise I'm curious about. Apparently, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer franchise is going to get reboot, and I'm like, okay. I don't know why, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. So, I'm getting the impression that these games are made in Japan. All these names seem surprisingly oddly Japanese. I don't know, what's up with that from software? Could it be a Japanese company made these? Okay. Buffy, yeah. Uh, who's Buffy even for? Um, well, high school students apparently was part of the intended audience, at least that's what I watched when I was in high school, because, I mean, I had nothing better to do. I mean, shit. It's either that or homework. Why bother with homework? <laughs> uh, and Angel was for the uh, edgelords who wanted Buffy, but wanted to say they were cooler than Buffy. I watched a lot of dumb shit growing up, so... <laughs> 
I regret nothing. But uh, yeah, talking about uh, Japanese. <laughs> oh god! But speaking of Japanese companies, though, um, some news recently. I saw a little image was apparently tweeted out. Um, god, what was his name? Harada, Kaz Harada, apparently tweeted out a really great image showcasing a lot of the Tekken characters with um, information about how the franchise has apparently sold 47 million copies, 3 million of which are Tekken 7. Now, don't get me wrong, Tekken 7 looks really great, but they want to sell me Lei Wulong and Anna. And, and when they want to sell individual characters that have been franchise staples, that's kind of a dick move and makes me really not want to buy your fighting game. You hear that, Capcom? You got lucky with Street Fighter V. Because <laughs> I'm not doing that shit again. Um, if I see Tekken 7 on sale for like under $20, then, then maybe. But I, I still doubt it. Uh, but Tekken 3 was still, in my opinion... It had such a great roster. I don't know that I would say it was better than 7, but that's because I haven't played 7, per se. So, Tekken 3 is going to be the high bar for me. Tekken 7 was just, was just epic. Just right out the gate. Re they knew what they were doing, too. Simple menus. You have the little title screen... Have the character select, boom, go at it. They didn't burden you with a bunch of flashy, stupid shit right at the gate. They did that in the matches. And it worked. They had a great roster, great endings, good visuals at the time, and an amazing soundtrack. So, let's see. I don't think they'll ever top Tekken 3. Tekken 5 was, at least until Tekken 7, probably the closest they got. Because I didn't give a crap about 6. My brother has 6. I have, like, no interest in playing it at all. Mm. I just hate being curious about 7. So if I see it, like, on sale or something for next to nothing, maybe I'll pick it up. Mainly because it has one of my favorite fighting game characters ever in it, who's not even from the same franchise. So I guess... Uma and... And, uh, God, what's his name... Jin's dead. Kazuya. Um, having both of them in the same game is kind of a perk, so... Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Union new parts have been added to the shop. Sub manufactured by... Okay. MWX MX String. And from an unknown person. There is a raven in the arena named Exile. We'd like you to defeat him. You don't need to know the reasons why, but your services are required. You're a very capable pilot, but Exile is much more powerful than anyone you've encountered up to this point. If he proves to be too much to handle, you may want to consider equipping the optional part that we recently added to the shop. The part's model number is Op Intensify. You might be interested to know that it has special hidden functions. Be aware, though, should you decide to use this part, you may not be considered an honorable honorable raven. Okie dokie. Honor? Eh, who needs that? Okay, Christopher Walken. Hmm. That actually seems like something I could see Walken doing, though. He's he's known for odd rants in his movies. That... I think Gigli had a odd, offbeat rant about him going into pies. Going on about pies. So him talking about Black Widows... I could buy that. That is... That's great. Um... Two hours, though? About just Black Widows. That's a bit intimidating. So Exile is the guy I believe I remember being... an absolute nightmare to fight. Now let's see him. Where's he at? He's not visible yet. So... Hmm. Any of the guys that were there before. I guess I'd have to beat some of these other, like, bottom guys to open them up yet, but, um, so yeah, the Op Intensify stuff I'm probably not going to get all right offhand, but, um, 
Yeah, I have one written down. And it's the one from Destroy Massive MT, and I can't recall which one that is right off hand, because I was too lazy to write down what they all were, but I'm pretty sure that one's the one where you fire stand back weapons standing up. So, let's see. Exile will only appear when I defeat Ace. Okay, thank you. Good to know. So, let's see. Going ahead and grab that Op Intensify, even though it's not something I can use yet. Not really. Let's see. Maybe optional parts, of course. Okay. Great description of its functions, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. A symbol of evil will appear when you strike the stake. What? That's super fa familiar. Um... And probably a reason I should probably go back and play more Devil May Cry, if I had to guess. Okay, so... First things first, there's a weapon that I've been wanting to get for a, w a little bit. Where's it at? So I'm going to get this out of the way. S A. Hmm. What was the name of the destroy gun emplacements? I believe was the mission. So I've got to find that here. Um. <clears throat> Germ canisters. Rest kind of okay. There's some of the ones that I missed. Here we go. Gun emplacements. Oh, Castlevania two. Damn, I need to play more of those. Um. On that note, apparently the new season of Castlevania is out on Netflix. And I haven't watched it yet. Um, since I'm off work tomorrow, I'll probably pick up at least an episode or two of that. So, because I'm really, I'm really interested in finishing that series. I'm interested in continuing it. I don't know how long it's going to run, and I kind of... Oh, I kind of don't want to finish it so soon, because it, it, it'd be over, and that'd be kind of sad. But, um, yeah... Castlevania. It's supposed to be out on Netflix. And it's looking great. The trailers I've seen were pretty good. Um. Oh, it does. It, energy output, like, right out the gate. Nice. Hmm. Well, I want to leave that for a moment, but, uh, first this part. Now, Castlevania. That, that pack on PS4 is also apparently out, from what I understand. And. I think GameSpot gave it kind of a tepid review. Apparently it's just basically straight up emulated ports of the PSP versions, which kind of to be expected. You know, can't expect much out of Konami, but you know, it would have been nice. Okay, where's it at? Come on. I'm trying to figure out where all the gun emplacements are. I think I've already basically botched this. Yeah. Okay, not playing this mission 17 times in a row means I've basically screwed this one up. Okay. Good, that means you're doing your job, Raven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quit because I think I've already... There's no way I'm going to kill the remaining four in like a minute here. Come on. It's kind of sad though about uh, that Castlevania game because it looks... I mean, it still looks really good. It's good for what it is, I suppose. But yeah, a lot of people apparently were wanting the dialogue from the PS1 versions because that's the one that had the... That one had campier, cornier dialogue, but it was memorable dialogue, and they changed a lot of the dialogue on PSP, apparently. So, I'm going to have to try and remember that, in case I ever get the uh, urge to play those games, so that I can go hunt down the PlayStation versions, rather than, you know, the PSP thing, so... Hmm. So, Silent Hill 2, Legend of Dragoon, and replaying FF7. 
Now that's a that's a trio of, of kick-ass games right there. Ooh. I don't know a lot about Silent Hill 2, but I've I've seen enough video of the visuals alone. It's like I'm sure Super Best Friends, I, I'm sure they have that. I've played it, so might skim through that at some point in the near future, give that a look. Okay, let's see. Gun emplacements, come on. I've got to get this pattern down, because I had it down pat for a while. I actually get my uh, head around um, streaming during weekdays, if I can do it regularly, which has not been a thing as much as I've wanted to, I would very much like to do a day with, with like, FF7, and that would be great. Because I've got the digital version on, uh, God, PS3. Okay, so Matt and Pat did an LP of that. Of, a uh, Silent Hill. Hmm. Okay. Pat and Willie are playing DMC4. Yeah, I need to, I definitely need to look into that one. Come on. Okay, come on. That's one. Four to go. That's one. Okay. I'm trying to remember where all the remaining ones are, and I'm not quite wrapping my head around it. And I used to have this... Okay. It's three. Just one more to go. All right, is this going to do it, though? All targets destroyed. Ah, here we go. Okay, spoiling the story? Yeah, that is a good point. I don't... I don't think about the story often enough when I do Let's Plays. Usually, though, when I watch a Let's Play, it's a game that I don't want to... Don't worry about the story, so yeah, I might hold out, hold off on uh, Devil May Cry 4. Because I actually do kind of want to see that story... First hand. Okay, transport, where you at? Okay, so basically directly behind me. Gotcha. Transporter, okay. Never open the package. Now there's a series of movies that I vaguely remember. Ooh boy, five minutes of survival. Oh, this is going to be rough. So yeah, the Transporter movies, I remember watching those, like, forever ago. And, um... Okie dokie. Where was I at? Ooh -ah! So yeah, anyway... Got some dudes to murder here. Um... Transporter, loved the first one, it was... It was relatively simple, but it was, it was a it was a good movie. It was, it was a nice, fun romp. The second one, they went a little bit more bombastic with it, and it was still pretty good fun. The third one, I think, was, um, in my opinion, kind of disappointing. I don't rem I didn't remember it. That's how disappointing it is. I mean, all I remember is the bad guy was uh, actor Robert Nepper, who I vaguely remember from Prison Break and... Uh, minor role in the series The Blacklist he's in one episode. Um, and aside from that, I remember literally nothing else. I don't even remember why Statham had to do his um, his thing in there. He was doing it under duress, and I'm like, okay. But it was slow and boring, and there was like a forced romance in there that was just ew. Like, why, guys? 
Okay. Well, I'm about a minute down, and this is already going pretty good. Okay. Switching to missiles. And I'm not going to say I have this in the bag by any stretch, but I think I'm doing decent. Okay. If I can keep dudes in front of me long enough to... Nail him with some missiles. Alright. Okay. No. Oh. See, I think I think really more than anything it's gonna be the first part of this mission that's the part that drives me insane, because if I if I have to do this over again. Okay, do not want to ring out. If I have to do this over again, I'm going to be sad, because that's going to be kind of lengthy. Okay, ooh, Bowie. Catch that in just a moment. Okay. Cut off those extensions. Literally. Ha, ah, goodbye, extensions. Ah. Okay. Okay, number of enemies is kind of cropping up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I am going to have to listen to more, more Bowie at some point in the near future, because I have been mostly focused on one song in particularly. In particular, is uh, The Man Who Sold the World. Um, first time I ever heard that was, I believe, it was Nirvana covering it. Oh boy, this is not good. And yeah, loved it then when I heard it. It was nice and mellow, though, for, for them, I'd say. But um, yeah, I didn't know it had been covered quite so many times. It was a good song, it's good stuff. Okay, I've got a minute left and about a quarter of my AP. This is... Okay, those those damn jets are kind of pissing me off. They're too accurate. Urgh. Okay, where are my AI buddies? Because I'm about to die. This is not good at all. Oh shit, what is hitting me so hard? All of a sudden, I'm just getting wailed on for, like, massive damage. Like I'm a... Oh, boy. Oh, so I don't just, like, rage for a second. Let's see. David Bowie. Fashion. He did a video with Mick Jagger. Huh. I am going to have to look that up. Okay, two things to look up then. Yeah. Oh boy, Ox King. I think having that extension was the um, easy part of that. Oh. Having that extension definitely eased along the uh, opening por portion of it. Oh man. Yeah, David Bowie has done a lot of characters in his artwork, and I I wouldn't have gotten that about the song just just hearing the song. I literally just had to look that up on Wikipedia. I'm not <laughs> But um Definitely good stuff and Bowie's cover was uh, Bowie's um Nirvana's cover was great. No, I lost, sadly. I lost with 47 seconds on the clock, so I'm going to give that... I'm going to switch machines, and I'm going to try one more time. Because I want that Karasawa so bad. This machine. I need to change missiles? Oh, I forgot to tweak it after the destroy massive MT thing. I'm going to have to remember to tweak it back when I try that again. Let's see. And... 60 rounds. 40 rounds... Extensions. 
Oh boy. Yeah, I got in kind of a lot of good hits. There were a lot of dudes dropping like flies. And then in the last minute, I started getting hit really hard by something I never quite laid eyes on. Probably would have helped if I'd remembered to fire my extensions, but... The uh, Exceed Orbit, I mean. If I'd remember to start those up. That's... I, I never remember those. Okay, let's see. Missile Intercept or other Missile Intercept. I'll go with this one. That's going to keep me alive a little longer. Hmm. Let's see. One thing about my assembly before I continue. Leg weight points. Ooh. 200 to work with. A little over. A little over. Hmm. Because before I end this game, even though I'm almost certainly not going to complete everything in here, because I haven't done that with a single one of these so far, I do at least want to get the Karasawa and take that massive MT. Just just chum that, that thing and its various parts, because Mecha Zardoz needs to, uh, needs to die. And hard. Okay, so I'm going to do something here. Uh, so you got, like, a little over 200 weight points to work with, so what have we got? I remember the gun parts being notoriously bad, but I wanted to see what they had, and it's just the howitzer here and the flamethrower. Right offhand. I was trying to remember... Because I seem to remember there being, like, other ballistic weapons in this, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. Mm. So I'm going to try this out, because I remember these being really bad, and, um... Will it even work on here? Oh, crap. Wrong button. Because I'm hoping they actually track with the uh, FCS, and if it does, then, you know, a little more ammo in a already crowded mission. So it was destroy gun emplacements and distract Union defenses. Hmm. What? Oh, so I guess I do have to do that first part again. Don't I? I'm gonna check this out though, just curiously. Just curious. We've located a Union stronghold in the Albemore. Let's see. Preparations will begin the assault with a barrage of long-range missiles. No. In order to succeed, the launch vehicle keep the stronghold oh. defenses occupied until the launch vehicles are ready. So if this is the mission that I was on, then I'll continue. But if not, then I'll just... I don't remember being able to pick a consort for that. So yeah, I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, ah, crap, I just accepted. Damn it! Damn it, my thumb's acting faster than my brain. And commence it so that I can quit it and lose and stuff. Just. Ah! Uh, this is always the kind of thing I do. Oh, wait, so it is the mission. Okay. So, hooray, I don't have to complete that other part. Okay. So we got one more round of this. Uh, let's see. From the north. Okay. Now, let's see how this howitzer does. I want to find a ground unit to lay into. Oh, wow. Well, that that hits pretty hard when it when it hits. Um, good to know. I might have to keep this around on Hawks King, because it's fairly light and... Okay. Okay. Well, there goes my squad. Crap. Okay. I think the ground units, though, are going to be the ones that I use this on mostly, because I'm not hitting these flyboys with um, that howitzer at all. Mm. Bad time for my arm to be itching too, so... Okay, come on. 
Oh, well, there goes the uh, reason I don't use orbits very much. Damn it. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> um... Okay. I'm trying to think of some other movies. I'm not used to having a van, um, too, so I had I haven't really been out to a movie theater in so many years, I can't even I can't even remember, but um been debating on whether or not I'll go see Venom before it's out of theaters and I because I mean if it's a superhero movie I'll, or a superhero related movie, I'll just about watch anything. Oh, Wax King is not doing this. He's definitely better off than Breaker. Uh. Oh! Of course, I kind of handicapped myself by running the Orbit Cannon and running myself out of juice. Oh, there it goes. Mm. Well, crap. Yeah, I remembered when I played this uh, game prior that getting op intensify meant, yeah, I get all of the things, all of the bonuses. So, I might wind up getting all of those before I quit this. I'm not going to commit to that, but I, the absolute barest minimum one that I want is standing back mounted weapon fire. I want to go back to the garage. I want to see about... Um, Switching to Breaker here and giving him the howitzer because that thing put out some damage. Let's see, go ahead and save because losing a little AP, losing, uh, losing a little bit of uh, credits, not the biggest deal. So let's see, increased blade range from def that's what you get from defeating Exile. Okay. Um. Hmm. The cooling performance one will be really nice. Blade Wave... I definitely could have used that on a few missions. <laughs> Turning performance is always a sticking point. Oh, you have to have Op Intensify equipped to get those bonuses. Admittedly, I didn't remember, remember that. Hmm. That's gonna make the Exile bit. Really rough. Speaking of optional parts, let's check and see if I've got anything on here. Oh, of course not. Let's see, that... And... Yeah, didn't think I could equip that with anything else. Memory served correctly there. Okay. So let's try it. Distract Union Defenses one more time. And consorts. Ooh, the parking lot corner strat. Um, yeah, I do need to try that using him. Um, ooh, this is probably one of the reasons I lasted less time. I didn't select a consort last round. Um, yeah, of all things, I distinctly remember that when I beat Exile, I beat him in the arena. And he was overhead, and I got to watch him fall while he was flying, fall to the ground. And I don't think I'll be doing that this time, because I was much better at the game then than I am now. Plus, I had those, um, I believe it was that I had those, those crow shoulders equipped to stop him from locking on, because he will kill you fast, I remember that. Mm, so the parking lot's probably going to be a necessity, just just to fight him. All right. So one down. Keep these guys. Okay, extensions. See if I can keep these guys off of me for a little bit longer and not back out of the map trying to dance. Okay. Let's 
See, I think the ground units are actually the bigger threat because I'm, I think they're really the ones that were hitting super, super hard. So... But I always hate those aerial units so much, and so they wind up getting a lot of my attention when they probably don't need it. Okay, come on. That might have been one of the things that saved me in that first round as long as it did. Okay, one minute down. Okay, come on. Oh, crap. About to ring out. Hmm. I think the worst part about this mission is it's still in this tropical forest swamp thing and you've got such just horrible visibility. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. My extension needs to go. There it goes. Good. So two minutes down. I've still got over half of my health. Just a little over half of the timer remaining. Okay, come on. Now I gotta watch my power usage a bit. Oh, had to fire off a little bit of that. Some free damage. Okay, whoa. Who was that? Someone's hitting from above? Which way are you going? I'm trying to watch your direction. Okay. I think the ground units are starting to mount a little bit. Okay. I might actually be able to do this this time. Because I don't... I think the damage is really kind of in line with what I was taking before. Okay. Not if these air units start just... focusing me. Okay. What the... I heard that weird chirping noise. Ugh. A okay, minute and a half left. Anti-missile extensions? Yeah, that's what I put on the Ox King, and that would probably be uh, be a better idea to put on this thing. But it was... They were chewing up the ground units, so... Yeah, I might have to keep that in mind for, for next run. Okay. Okay, come on. How it's put in some work. Okay. What's these jets? They're just everywhere. You little bastards. I will just about need those anti missile ex extensions, I think. If I fail this, with 40 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. Okay, did not need to stop there for a second. Okay, 20 seconds. And I still got about a fifth of my AP. And immediately lose some, but hey. 10, yes! Holy shit. Okay, lose the missiles. It's nice to know how to unequip those. Okay, good. Hit the escape point. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I can't get hit anymore. Okay. No, not now. Not now, game. Damn it. I am on top of the escape point. Come on. Okay. 
Holy crap, that was making me nervous. Ooh. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think all of the voice audio is just missing for that mission. So I'm like, okay. Still took a bit of a balance loss, but screw it. If I got the Karasawa, everything is fine. And I'm going to sign off when I find out. So let's see. Mail. Oh boy, don't tell me. Please don't tell me, game. I want to check the shop just to see if it's in the shop, then I'm I'm good. But if it's not in the shop, then... Oh! Come on, just show me the Karasawa. Ah, oh, son of... If it's not already in my inventory, then I am going to be very sad. So I guess you really do have to beat both of them. Damn. Well, it was worth a shot. Anyway, with that, since I'm not going to do that mission again right now, ooh, shit, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So, ooh. Thanks again for sticking around and watching me unplug the controller. So it's going to be next week. I'll, it'll probably be my last Armored Core 3 stream before I switch on to Silent Line, but I want to make sure, whether it is or not, I want to make sure I get Op Intensify and that back-mounted thing, so it may not even be my last stream. So that'll be... that'll be Saturday at 4, same as this was. Tomorrow I'll go on ahead and switch on to Front Mission 3, as I've been doing, so I'm gonna keep that schedule up. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that was a decent loophole, but it was worth a shot. It was uh, worth a shot to verify the shortcut didn't work, so... But yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I've got um, ooh, got a little bit of that ahead of me, so I'll probably get the Karasawa off stream because that that mission is that mission is hell. Um, but either way, thanks again for stopping by, and I will see you when I see you. In the meantime, I've got some Adam X and super best friends to look up. So take it easy, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm.